Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Y'all already know we hitting these lives, man. You know what I mean? We hit them back to back. But nah, man. Charleston White, I know I've been hearing about people talking about Deion Sanders and stuff, so I've been trying to see what they've been talking about. This internet <laughs> Yo, what up? It's your, your boy, boy MDM Peso, and that MDM stand for Million Dollar Minded. If you ain't know, look, the day I got Dr. Umar and Charleston White going back and forth about the move Deion Sanders made I had from the Jackson light, State to Colorado, them, and, and they here. both got some pretty interesting points. Shout so look, I'm gonna let Dr. Umar go first, and then I'm gonna let Charleston White go, and you know he gonna go crazy. So stick around for that. Let's get into it. I can congratulate Coach Deion Sanders. I can congratulate Coach Prime. He's off to a great start. He's black excellence, very talented, obviously athleticism yeah, runs in his family. Excellent. His son is breaking all kind of records at the quarterback spot. He'll be a first-round draft pick. His other son is doing his job on the defensive end, okay? He is an excellent coach, and very few people can make that transition from player to coach. So we, 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 we commend yeah, Deion is, Sanders, and we support Deion coach, Sanders. Yeah because he represents black excellence, but let me not forget brothers and sisters. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> okay. At the end of the day, the University of Colorado, yeah. a white racist institution with less than 2% black students is benefiting from all of this. Can we please stay hey, focused on the bigger picture? Butt, but, I yeah. want him to go undefeated. I want him to win the Rose Bowl. I want him to break every record, but let's get back to the politics and the economics of this. Let's get back to the politics and the economics of this. Who ultimately benefits the most from Deion Sanders' talent at the University of Colorado? Can we keep it a buck? We're talking about an all-white, lily-white <laughs> university. Are we going to keep it a buck? Hold up. Let me answer that. Deion family is benefiting from this, and that's all that matters. That should be the goal for any man mm -hmm. is to set his family straight. For generations, if you can pull yeah. it off. And that's it's exactly like, what he got both doing. of his sons on See the how much this team. man love his She's family? Like, you actually think he doing this for himself? He got a good little situation no. going on. Let's get back into it. Because if we're going to keep it a buck, the white power structure is benefiting more than Dion and his two sons ever could. Let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. I'm happy he's doing well. I want him to continue to do well. He is one of Everything us. I'd but let racist, us not forget that all this him. attention oh should God. be going to Jackson State. All this money should be going to Jackson State. We got celebrities rolling up to the University of Colorado who ain't never rolled up to a HBCU in their life. We got black celebrities rolling up to a football game for a white university. <laughs> Two white colleges playing each other. Two white colleges playing each other. Two white college playing each other, and we got black celebrities rolling up to a white college to watch two white teams play each other. Yes, coached by and a you black still man, no but it's a white team at I mean, a white college chest. with less like, than two percent black like, students. All that money, get the all that energy, all that do attention with nothing, should be going to Jackson State. Like, it should be going to the HBCUs. And I will never change my mind. So again, I'm proud of still you. Keep doing your thing, Coach right. Prime. I want nothing but the best for you. But that does not diminish the fact that you abandoned the HBCU mission. That does not eliminate the fact that he abandoned the HBCU mission. It ain't about thinking system. for yourself. <laughs> it's about the best interest of the race. See, this is what be killing me. People just be saying shit. It ain't about thinking for yourself. It's about the best interest of the black race. You can ask Umar right now. What comes before you in life, brother? I, I, hey, listen, I could bet you $10,000 he don't say the black community if he got a family. And if he do, he lying for the camera. I'm telling you, moving on. Mm -hmm. Coach Prime represents black excellence. He does not represent black self-determination. Coach Prime represents black excellence. He does not represent black self-determination. 
Coach Prime represents black excellence. He does not represent black self-determination. Black self-determination says stay at Jackson State and build up the HBCU movement so we can attract that money back to the HBCUs so we can save our schools and save our communities and save our people. <laughs> the ones who go out and help the community, the Malcolms and the Martins and the Marcus Garvey, they make these sacrifices for their families to get nothing in return for the sacrifices they made. So Charleston White isn't speaking from a millionaire mindset. He's speaking from a poverty, middle class, lower class mindset so the masses can relate. But I want y'all to keep in mind and equate what he's saying to how a millionaire like Deion Sanders would think and move. Come on. So those that's doing this, when they come home, they're wives. Their children looking them upside the head saying, you out doing all this, but we ain't got a new car. You out trying to fix the community online. You making all these positive posts, but you ain't saying good morning to me when we wake up and we in the same bed. So mm -hmm. people have to say, OK, at some point we got to quit addressing the problems in the community and, and let's ad address the vices and the demons that we have in the mirror. Mm -hmm. We can't fix the world, homie, if we ain't got the money like Elon Musk. So what's happening is I spent 12 years you know, start with in the community like, spending my resources people taking away blame from my family, society, making society, blame right? everything right? but they said. So at some point, on you just become obedient and say, okay, I'm just going to try to help the people. But now you're arguing with your family. Mm -hmm. saying, man, you giving away to the people. But look what we got. Look where we are. So your family say, well, can you fix us first before you try to fix the community? Exactly. And so that's what I did. So I went and made enough money on the internet. So now, nigga, I got a $2 million policy for my family if I die. Malcolm and Martin didn't have that. I own the rights to my trademark. Malcolm and Martin didn't do that. Mm. Marcus Garvey and them didn't do that. They want to sell his Bible because that's the only thing Martin Luther King owned when he died with his Bible. So go fix the community and something happened to you because you get the threats. They put my... So no, nah, homie, they, they were the leaders down. And the leaders don't get no resources from the people that they have. It. So when you go back and get the resources, you can pay your mama bills. You can pay your sister bills. You can get your baby mama at her mama house and go get your daughter apartment, put them up. You can go get everybody a life insurance policy. You start creating businesses. You can no, that's real. Like, what are you saying? You got to start money. We're about to for the foundation first. Like. We're about the community later. Worry about you dying later. Wait a minute. We have to fix the home life first. And what we're doing now, we're neglecting home life. We're trying to clean up the communities, but our beds are not made every morning. Mm -hmm. We're trying to fight with what's going on out in the streets, but our children don't eat a nutritional breakfast every morning. <laughs> Think about it like this, right? You got to start from the seed, which is yourself. If you ain't right, ain't nothing right. Exactly. If everybody in the community... Yeah, just I'm going to do a video on him too, y'all. But well -being, uh, Umar, right? and morality like, of their own family individuals... People be thinking they got information and they become like shit. Like, all that trying pro to black... The neighborhood cause they like, used well, to be I'm an activist, bro. Bro, just sit your head down. Bro. Saving the community it's starts in the household. This shit's simple. It ain't rocket science. Let's go. Niggas gonna talk all this shit, but what is getting shown him? All of us have wrong and right. Everybody just talking and saying the same shit they've been, been talking for years. We need to address people. Okay, we need to. What I need to fix before but I what you need to do for yourself first. What do I need to fix before I correct my children? What do I need to mm -hmm. fix in me? When I come out the bathroom, I look around the house and I see what's inside of my house need to be fixed. Mm -hmm. It may be a leaking sink. It may be the cabinet that need to be cleaned. It may be the ceiling fan that need to be dust out. It may be the carpet need to be vacuumed. When I look around the house, then I start saying something to my wife and children. Then I come out on the porch, speak to my neighbor. Hey, neighbor, how y'all doing? Mm -hmm. Then me and my neighbors, we clean up our streets before we try to fix the community. Oh, we we this is what I'm saying. I am providing for mm -hmm. those that's around me. I can't fix the community. I can't fix the world. Mm -hmm. I'm not a savior. And that's what boils down as leaders and community leaders trying to take the weight of the world on our shoulders. All right, so there you have it. Who you think made most sense? Dr. Umar Charleston White. Leave it in the comments. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. Mm -hmm. Hit that notification bell. And go to check out the merch. Everything is fire. Until next video, y'all. Nah, man. 
Y'all let me know who y'all feel on, you know, but there's some valid points being thrown in there, so y'all leave a comment, man. Y'all y'all already know, man. We be back. Y'all already know we back lock and loaded. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the our folks, man. Shout out to the family, man. You already know, man. Y'all hit the like button. Y'all hit the subscribe, man. And we be back. Ow, ow.